this video is uh, terrible to your own health. Please be warned that watching this video will cause an, a massive urge to facepalm. The problem is facepalm hard. So many face palms could result in serious injury. I am not responsible for your face palming. If you feel the urge to face palm over and over again till blood draws out, please take a break from watching said video. And on with this video. Warning over. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I really mean it. But disclaimer, be very careful. Okay, so maybe you're new to this, maybe you're not. Um, yeah, High Street Paranormal, yeah, that guy, put up a video about Ghost Meter. He feels like he's being bullied because people are laughing at his Ghost Meter. Because it looks toy-like. Well, yeah, it does, but there's a different reason I'm doing this video. It's not to laugh at you, High Street Paranormal. It's because... You don't really understand any of this, do you? You just don't. And this is the problem. I mean, like I said, I had no problem with you charging people for your time, 15 bucks for your ghost box session. The guaranteed contact thing, I did. Yes, you said it. Shut up, okay? But my point is, also, those poor people who have paid for that session, for your time, you're giving them such false, false answers. Don't believe me? Let me show you a couple of clips of your Kanika Jenkins attempts and how bad they are. This is taken from a video which I'll link in the description from Real News who covered your ass. But this is terrible. But you only did this because, well, you follow trends. Don't lie. You do. RHT has just done a video on that. We're all bullies, right? We're all just horrible, horrible bullies. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. No, we're just calling you up on the things you say, okay, and what aren't right. So... Have a look at this video and tell me that this was genuine contact from Kanika Jenkins. Not to mention you ripping the piss. Like I say, this is a clip from Real News who covered you. Link in the description to watch that video. It's a bloody good video covering High Street Paranormal. My God, Cecil. It's what got the world to know who I am. Kanika Jenkins' ghost box essence. Yeah, see what I mean? He decided he was going to be psychic overnight. For the first month or two of her death, I was the only person in the whole world who was doing ghost box sessions for her. And that's a lie, because I watched that idiot Huff Paranormal do a ghost session on Kanika way before this dude. That's what caused my channels to start to blow up and things, because her story was super viral. And that was the only reason why he decided to start playing Psychic, because he saw how much money the video were making. But now that you know the backstory, Let's check out some of the goofy ghost spot sections your boy came up with. Spirit guides, guardian angels, I'd like to speak with you. The girl who was found dead in the freezer, who well, I just felt electric shock go over my head. Less than 30 seconds and the clown shit's already starting. Kanika, who's responsible for your death? I'll give you two guesses of who he's gonna say the murderer is. Come on, you should have saw that one coming. What kind of room did they find your body in for confirmation? Rosemont. Yeah, and if you heard Rosemont, please give me the number to your weed dealer. Who got paid for your organs? Now, since we all know our organs were never taken, we already know he's full of shit. But let's see who he says took them. Nisa. Yeah, you're looking at the face of a whole goofy. But let's continue. I see. I heard you, spirit. <laughs> now the spirits are giving them shout outs. Come on. All right, Kanika, peace. Have a good night. Well, at least it was nice of him to say good night to her. I wonder if he's going to give her a blanket like Hand to Star. Okay, so now we've established that Cecil actually has no idea what the hell he's talking about and he's just going to wing it and blag it any way he can. Like I say, um, he is going to get his fair share of haters. And of course, and he always says that only great people get haters. I must be great because of how many haters I get. 
Newsflash Cecil, I must be great too because I got haters as well, quite a few. I guess the difference is uh, I didn't put up a video stating that I molested two nine-year-olds. But we're not going to cover that. That's not what this is about. This is about your lack of knowledge or understanding of anything. Of calling something a ghost meter. Let, let's just start your video, shall we? And we'll go from there and I'll reply and... Oh boy. This is where, seriously, if you're watching this... The face palm thing comes in, be careful, injury can arise, I'm not being sued for your injuries. You're watching this video yourself, okay? This is on you, alright, Thirtless, or anyone else for that matter, even haters. Can't sue me for this. We're clowning my ghost meter. If you would look, this girl right here has my ghost meter, and check this out. I'm going to point something out that even they didn't catch. I caught an EVP voice that even they didn't catch. Ah, I see the whole, it's in somebody else's vi video, so it must be a legit piece of equipment argument. Absolutely, Cecil, absolutely. Um, no, that, that doesn't validate anything at all. It's just like when you keep saying you debunk things. Denial isn't debunk. There's a difference between the two. Again, that's off topic. But, fucking hell. Look, yeah, that, that make of ghost meter, it's not a ghost meter, but we're going to come to that. And how stupid you are for saying such stupid things, but hey, Cecil, you the man, you know everything, and, and um, yeah, it's very popular. A lot of people bought it. I mean, it looks flashy and pretty and stuff, so why wouldn't you? More flashing lights are better. Huff runs on that merit. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a huff hater, so I can't be trusted, I know. Anyway, ca carry on, Cecil, you expert of ghost meters. Ghost meters. Have you face palmed yet? If so, write in the comments how many times at what and at what <laughs> what timestamp. Who was clowning my ghost meter? Because people were shitheads on YouTube, but they made a bunch of people think that my ghost meter was a piece of shit toy to laugh at. It's not. It's used in ITC. <sighs> yeah, it's used in ITC, alright. Um, doesn't mean to say it's used properly. Or understanding what they've got. Cecil! No, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. I was, I'm going to show you what a real <laughs> ghost meter hit looks like. But let's just, just clarify one thing. You fucking idiot. It is not called a ghost meter. And people like Chills calling it a ghost meter. As much as I love that channel. Doesn't understand anything about ITC Paranormal. He calls it a ghost meter too, because he, he, I don't know, fuck knows why, no research, I guess. and Or understanding, right? It is called a K2 meter. What is its job? Its job is to measure the electromagnetic field. That's not ghosts. And how do you measure a ghost anyway? Do you measure their height? Their, their suitable strength? What do you measure them in? There is no such thing as a ghost meter, Cecil. No such thing at all. Stop calling it a ghost meter. It sounds retarded. And when people like you go, Ah, oh, yeah, we use it in ITC, we all look fucking stupid. Because the scientific community are going to go, Ah, uh... <laughs> oh, God. The K2 meter should not be used on its own as a source of evidence of paranormal activity in the slightest unless you have a hit like this this is one i got and see if you can see the difference or i'm going to point out why this hit is important here do you are you aware whoa that's not me that's not me oh the k2 is going nuts that's none of us Hello? Hi guys! What the fuck? Go and go and sit next to mummy. Oh my goodness. Let's move this. No, it's nothing to do with us. It's, it's, everything's away from it. Spirits, talk to me. Adam, are you here? Is that you doing that? How are you doing that? What the fuck? It's going nut higher, so it's making it go nuts. What the hell? 
It's everywhere. There's something here, man. It is everywhere. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, so why was that deemed a paranormal hit when a lot of others are not? Well, as we go through Cecil's video, there's going to be a dude in a kitchen or somewhere not understanding his meter either. He's going to be like, oh, there's a ghost here. When I lift the thing up, it, it, it goes off. And when I go down, it goes off. But in the middle here, it seems to be going off. I don't understand. There must be a ghost in front of me. And Cecil concludes this as... Whatever. So, why was that one important? Well, first of all, I had 2k2 meters, right? They were not off, they're completely blank. They weren't being moved, they're on the floor. I was usually using a spirit box at the same time, which is another paranormal tool that is not a ghost whispering device. It needs to be understood, the flaws of it as well. Okay, and I, there's loads of videos on that I've done. Go to my playlist, ITC Lessons, this one will be in it if you want to learn about that sort of thing. But, yeah, suddenly it goes off. Not just off, it goes off strong. Okay, or well fine, something could be setting it off because it's not a ghost meter, it's measuring electromagnetic, you know, around the, the area or, or, you know, anything that's in its place. So, what do I do? I pick it up and I move it around. If it stops, maybe my guitar is setting it off. Maybe a speaker's setting it off, but it wasn't. It was going off full blast no matter where I put it in the room and how, how you know, waving it around trying to find where the source is, it was everywhere. And as anyone said, all right, all right, you got my attention, it stopped. That's paranormal. That doesn't mean saying it, it was a ghost, but that's not, that's, hmm, that's an interesting result. I highly doubt Cecil has anything of the sort like that, okay? Or anyone, or many people that understand about K2s. Now, here's a good way to debunk as well a K2 meter or use it properly. The High Priestess used to do a good, um, idea of kids. She got two of them, and she used to go down to a cemetery or wherever where there's a known, you know, uh, intelligent being, shall we say, but we can't see easily, put two K2s down with a cardboard thing on one saying yes, and a cardboard thing on the other saying no, and she'd ask questions, and they're quite close to each other as well, and this entity, uh, I don't know where the video is, you'll have to go on her channel and find it, but I'm sure she's got it somewhere, would answer either yes by making one K2 flash, or no on the other. Now, if it was just an electromagnetic field, they would both go off, because they're quite close to each other. They're not far apart, you know what I mean? But the intelligence was between one and the other. These are all tools. You need to learn how to use these tools. There's no such thing as a ghost meter of sorts, you frickin' moron, Cecil. Anyway, let us carry on. I hope I've educated you a little bit about these K2 meters and, like, how to use them properly. Something Cecil does not know how to do and what would be classed as a decent paranormal hit. Let us carry on, though. Instead, they both get a paranoid feeling in this part of the woods right before this happens. It's beeping. Uh, what uh, uh, beeping must be paranormal called beeping. Right, Cecil. Right. Look, let me give you a little history lesson, right? Um, you know, like, the, the whole K2 meter thing? It sort of was popularised via Ghostbusters. Do you remember Egon's PKE meter? You don't remember? Let, let me just show you quickly. Get the gist now. Oh yeah, all these uh, what wanna be armchair paranormal investigators. Not that I'm some sort of coup de grave investigator. Hell, I've done fuck all investigations other than a few cemeteries and my old home. But and I and I, you know, when I first started, I had to learn a few things. You know, like about the K2. I actually didn't know much about the K2, and I did a live stream once, and I remember this. And I honestly thought I was getting some really good hits uh, with the K2. Little did I know that the live stream was interfering with the K2. Someone had to point that out to me. You know, you live, you learn. But um, Cecil isn't going to learn. I just know this. He will keep calling it a ghost meter. Probably because he never watches um, his haters videos. Haters, such a strong word. I don't hate Cecil. Just trying to educate him and need him to understand why people have such a problem with that testimony. Whatever you call it. I have so many goosebumps because I was in this area. Why is it beeping? Hear that? Hear 
You hear the huh? So there's the EVP. Even they didn't catch. Could, could be an EVP, Cecil, but not really the ideal conditions for an EVP. This is another thing people need to understand. Right, when it comes to EVPs, a lot of people will hold the thing in their hand, and then they'll wonder why they get a noise coming through, and they're like, oh, wow, EVP. No, put the thing on the table where there's no movement. People, you're, you're investigating with other people? Well, maybe you shouldn't have... Well, maybe you should tell people to everybody shut up and hold their breath. A little breathe could be considered an EVP. Uh, oh, oh, and are we using a DR60 that Huff uses? Hey, Cecil, no, nobody ever says anything about Huff's EVPs. Yeah, 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 we do, we do. He's been caught out pre-recording his EVPs because when he um, <laughs> he says, "Is is there anybody there or whatever?" When he hits the playback. Oh, weirdly enough, there's a word out or, or been switched around because he pre-done it. But even if he hasn't done that, the DRC is a terrible device to use for EVPs. Why? Because it's got a fault where it sort of records its own innards. And yeah, you're not going to know if it, it's not EVPs can't happen on a DR60. Of course they can. And I have seen a few where the genuine EVPs and they're good. But a lot of the time people are passing off the machine's fault as the actual EVP. Ah, oh, DR60. Two grand as well? Ah, oh, thanks to Huff. Yeah, yeah. Let's all use Huff's equipment. Ah, stupid, stupid. Well, Cecil, as far as an EVP goes, it, it could be, but you don't know. You weren't there. You know, someone else said something. You know what I mean? You jumped to that paranormal conclusion so quickly, and you do it a lot of the time on purpose, because, heaven forbid, have a session that has no contact whatsoever. Can't have that now, can we? Ugh. Fucking clout chaser. Even they didn't catch it. Now watch what happens. I think we should go home. I don't think that's a good idea. Their ghost meter, which has remained quiet until this point, suddenly beeps with sharp measurements of paranormal activity. Nice. No. See, people like chills are perpetuating this myth. It's not a ghost meter and it does not measure paranormal activity. How does it measure paranormal activity? It just because it bleeps that doesn't mean to say it's paranormal. Jesus fucking Christ. Of course people like Cecil, you know, chills is a big channel. I, I like his channel, you know, in general, apart from stupid shit like this, but I think he doesn't understand, you know, he's not a paranormal investigator anyway, but I can see it now, like, high street going, see, my breaking meeting on a channel like this, so my ghost meter, stop clowning on my very professional ghost meter. It's not a ghost meter! Peter feels a presence nearby. They all do. And watch the meter beep in agreement when she points to where she thinks a ghost is. It was right there. Oh my god, I like those bugs. It was right there where that tree is. <laughs> they return to the same place as night falls and wait to hear a scream. They don't hear any scary noises in the woods, but the same paranoid feeling soon passes over them. Twice as strong in the darkness. Wait, I have a lantern. It's beeping again. It's beeping again, so it must be paranormal. Must be beeping again. I need a face palm meter. Again. In the same spot, out in the woods. Their paranormal suspicions are further confirmed by measurements on their ghost meter. That's when the camera goes out of focus and her brother feels a ghost touch him. You're like someone's like scratching on the back of my neck. Oh what? Someone's touching you? Yeah, like someone's like scratching me on the back of my neck. Shut up. Don't yeah. play like that. <laughs> Why near me? Guiding them somewhere, as scared as they are. They follow the beeps and soon come across a beaten path that makes the ghost meter go off like crazy. See? There's like a trail right there. It keeps going. I don't think we should go though. I think we should definitely go. What? Yeah. Why is it keep going like that? I don't know. There's a lot of energy here. They ultimately decide not to go exploring the dark path in the woods at night, and instead get so freaked out that they run back into their tent and wait to get picked up. Maybe a ghost was leading them back to its final resting place, or maybe it was a trap. The there you go. It confirms that my ghost meter does work in ITC. And there's so many other, so many other examples of it. 
You think I would just buy something because it's cheap? So what if it is cheap sea salt? That doesn't, that, that's neither here nor there. Something's cheap. If you can get something cheap, then kudos. You know, why overspend on money you don't have? Uh, incidentally, though, it is interesting to say this. Now, I don't know if this is a fact or not. You have to look this up. I, I can't be asked to look it up. But I put up a community coast, coast? A community post about this uh, video. Like, going, oh, my God. And someone, Paranormal Dissonance, uh, replied about that particular model, saying that it's a bit of a pretend model, it's not the real thing. I don't know if that's fact or not. I cannot say for certain if that's true or not. But let's just give them the benefit of a doubt. It is a, it's a real K2, and it, and it measures electromagnetic, um, you know, fields, right? That... <laughs> Oh my god, whether people use it for ITC or not is irrelevant. The point is, do they use it properly? Do they understand the principles of it? Are they using it like a ghost meter because it's a ghost meter as far as they're concerned? They bought it because the title said ghost meter. Let me guess, you go to eBay, type in K2 meter, you'll get one for yay price, but if it says ghost meter, it's about five times more expensive. That's what usually happens. Jesus fucking Christ. You think I would just buy something because it's cheap? I mean, come on, guys. They want you guys to think that I'm just some kind of idiot. That's what happens when people are belittling you on YouTube. Well, statements like my ghost meter don't help the situation, do they, Cecil? I mean, uh, it sort of implies that you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. And secondly, you must know the reason why you get so much flack. It's because of your... Sorry. Not confession, but testimony. That is a confession. Just for the record, though. Cecil, with that testimony, there's nothing brave, nothing stunning about that. You were not the vixen there in any sense of the word. But we're not talking about that. You know this. I'm sure you'll fucking try and redirect the narrative. Let me, let, let's just wait for the, the response video you may or may not do. Let's have a look at Order of Magnitude's channel. He's famous, or not famous, for uh, uh, hating on Huff. Yeah, that, that's all he does. He just does hate videos. That's, that's all he does. Yeah. Play this section, motherfucker. On YouTube. Are you standing in front of us? The thing works. Yes, the thing does work. It's measuring electromagnetic field. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It is doing exactly as it's supposed to do. Oh, and by the way, that little uh, noise da -da, that you keep hearing in his videos finally worked out what that was. That's him getting a notification or a text message or something along those lines. See, so I got a little tip for you when you do your lazy ass videos where you can't even be asked to fucking edit in, just point the camera at a TV screen. Hey, we've all been there. I, I used to do that at the start until I learnt. But you, you know how to do it. You said you're a master at editing yourself, so I don't want you to just do it. You can get free apps on a phone to do it. That's, that's how I do mine. And my edits are freaking awful, but at least, you know. But that noise, right, I... It's, Freaking irritating when you're trying to watch something and then it comes through. I'm going to give you a little tip, Cecil, to stop that. This is what you do. Before you film, put your phone into aeroplane mode. That will stop all notifications and noises like that coming through. But you won't. You're fucking lazy when it comes to your uploads. Very you can't be asked to do a thumbnail, for God's sakes. No matter how bad it is. Huh? Meh. Whatever. Yes. You hear that? Are you making my device go off? Make it go faster. What's your name? I've, I've never seen us do this before. You're excited by doing it again. Yeah. And what's your name? I'm going to put this video on YouTube, but Julie and I are trying out her new spirit box. Now it's slowing down, Jules. Uh, we're sitting in the kitchen of another house, and uh, we're trying out the spirit box. 
And what I want to tell you guys is that this is just a regular ghost meter. I've never seen it act this way in this kitchen before, unless I'm putting it right next to a wall outlet. And usually right next to it. Now I'm about seven feet away from any wall outlet. Turn that off for one second. Turn your spirit box off. It's not the spirit box causing it, because she just turned it off. There's no, we turned off all the lights, and uh, there's nothing here, guys. And it seems to be right in front of the door. I don't know. What if I go up? It stops. If I go down, it stops. What if I put it straight out in front of me? It's pegged. Um, Jules, turn the light on. And that's where the video ends. I just abruptly stopped like that. But no, Cecil. Ah, oh dear. I. I... People are trying to trigger you by saying your your thing looks like a toy, but, you know, at the end of the day, learn something from this, okay? Understand what your tools are. I, I don't think your tool is ineffective, doesn't work, it does exactly as it's meant to do. Measure, uh, you know, the electromagnetic field that it is near it and how strong that may or may not be. That's what that is. It is not a ghost meter. Quit freaking saying that. That's what you got to do. Just, just learn something, and then you better yourself. Simple as that. But I know, I know, you, you won't, or whatever, or I'm just my hater, whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah, there we go. Take care, Furtis, and I'll see you much later. Mm, sure time. If you like what the Magnitudes do, and just like any other YouTube channel, there's the opportunity to support such channel in our everyday meaning of life. No one has a gun to your head. You don't have to. Oh my god, Order! Shouldn't you just go out and get a job? Oh, but why I do have a job? Oh, where my wife works? Oh no, that's right, she's going to be chained to the kitchen sink and I'm going to be doing all the running about. Of course, I forgot about that. But regardless, I spend a lot of time and effort on the channel. Like I say, nobody has to. I don't have the ability to hypnotise you. Or do I? <laughs> anyway, links in the description, don't forget it. To... Ah! Take effortless much love. And to you too, Miss Norm. You fucking... What a little worm. That's all the comment is. He's a fuck.